Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see how we can handle the form fields and their validations. At the same time, how to handle some of the document object model events, DOM events. If you look here, in this particular form, in this page, we have created a form. In this form, the form name is form1. Upon successful, the action will be doit.pl. On submit, this is an event. On submit of this form, it will call the function validate data. If this returns true, then this action will be called. If this validate data returns false, this action will not be called. This is a standard notation in HTML form handling. The first feature that we are going to see is mouse over. We have defined a label called first name in the form. When we move the mouse over it, it calls this function. On mouse over, pretty much like you have on submit event, there is an event called on mouse over. It will call this m over function. If you see here, the m over function is defined over here. It will simply uh, places uh, an alert message, mouse over event happens, that's all. So once you move the mouse out of that, then this will not alert, this alert will not happen. Let us see how it works. So it's a basic form with one label and uh, one input box and one submit button. If we mouse over this first name, it will show this alert box. Let us see that. I go here. This is the form. I mouse over this field, nothing happens. I mouse over this field, nothing happens. Just watch carefully. I am going to mouse over this first name. Now, on the event, when that event happens, this appears. Mouse over event happens. So again, I will show it to you once again. I mouse over this field, nothing happens. I mouse over this field, nothing happens. But just watch. When I mouse over that label, this alert comes. So this is the basic stuff. Now. Coming back to this form, on submit of this form, we are calling a function called validate data. In this validate data, I am going to validate whatever the field that the person is entering should not be empty. At the same time, it should have the length between 5 and 20. Let us see how this works. This is the function validate data. In this, we are trying to extract the value from the form. If you see here, document.forms, the form name, then the field name, dot value. So within square brackets, we are saying forms dot forms, within square brackets, this form name, this field name, dot value. Whatever value you enter, that will appear, that will be stored in this x. Now we are validating if x is empty or if, is, if x is equal to blank, then we are raising this alert message, then we are returning false so that the action will not be called. At the same time, we are calculating the length of this particular uh, x field, that form field. If length is greater than 20, or if less, length is less than 5, if we are putting another alert message, it should be between 5 and 20 characters. Again, we are returning false. If everything goes fine, it goes back to true by default. Okay. So let us say uh, return true. Now, let us execute this one. Let us refresh. I try to submit without entering anything over here, it says first name cannot be empty. Now let me enter 6, just one character. I type, I click this, it says first name must have minimum 5 letters and maximum 20 letters. So let us, six, let us type 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is totally 6 characters. Once it reaches 6 characters, it passes the validation. It is not empty. It is greater than 5 characters. It is less than 20 characters. I click this, it calls that do it dot pl because if you go back to this uh, form definition if the validate data returns true 
this do it dot pl the Perl script is getting called so this is how it happens so this is the basic way of form validation you can have any number of fields pretty much like we have input type equal to text you can have any number of uh, fields for each of those fields you can have these validations also like you have on mouse over you have on mouse out there are events such as uh, on mouse out and then on mouse down on mouse up there are events when you click the mouse down when you release the mouse it goes up so on mouse over up down on click so these are all the events that you can handle we have just seen this one it is very similar the event name then the function that it should call on that event but within that function you need to code what the logical action should be taken javascript doesn't know anything so you have to code this so using javascript you can validate the form fields it's very simple you can handle the mouse over on click as well as mouse out mouse down mouse up events this is uh, almost used in every single form wherever you capture the data this kind of validations are definitely a must and mandatory because if you do not validate the data the data that you capture may be erroneous or may have junk values so better do validations before you accept any form data with this we stop this session thank you